Your team has been requested to use your robot to search the vehicle. Bomb squads from across the United States came to Los Alamos National Laboratory in June to wrangle their robots at the 6th Annual Robot Rodeo. The 2012 edition of the week-long rodeo pitted teams against each other in 12 events that have gotten progressively more difficult over the years. It's a competition and a learning experience. They get a chance for some trainings because sometimes they just don't get the ability during their day-to-day -day operations to just go out and train for a week using robots. The other thing is the camaraderie between all the bomb squads. We have eight teams from throughout the United States this year. Um, so the big thing is, 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 is the training aspect, the chance to compete on a, on a friendly basis. In the middle of the competition, this U.S. Army team was guiding their robot up a flight of stairs to investigate a mock meth lab. Meanwhile, the joint Los Alamos Laboratory and Los Alamos Police team was working to open a cooler inside the trunk of a car to get at a fake improvised explosive device. While a team from the New Mexico State Police was maneuvering their robot to plug a leaking water tank, a team from the New Jersey State Police was searching a suspicious vehicle involved in a high-speed chase. All the events have a time limit, and the degree of difficulty for even simple tasks is very high. It's gotten a lot harder, a lot longer. Uh, we're making them think just beyond operating the robot now um, and how, how difficult we can make it to run that robot. Los Alamos, along with Sandia National Laboratories, the Region 2 International Association of Bomb Technicians and Investigators, Remotech, a company that builds robots for police, military, and first responders, U.S. Technical Working Group, and Kinetic, a defense technology company, sponsor the Robot Rodeo. The enjoyable aspect is when they walk away and go, you know, that was difficult, but now I know I can do this if I have to. So that, that to me, is the enjoyable part of it. This year's winner, the Doña Ana County, New Mexico Sheriff's Office. Coming in second and third, the Albuquerque Police Department and the New Jersey State Police. I'm Kevin Rourke for LANL TV.